Okay, in today's video, I wanted to go over some things in Keynote. Now, we do understand most of the basics of Keynote at this point to be watching this video. We understand how to enter a new slide, how to enter some text in there, but there are some things that some of you are not quite understanding yet, or maybe you don't understand how to do or, or how things move together, and that's the transitions and animations. Now, those are a little bit different, two different things. Transitions would be going from this, let's say, slide number one to slide number two. That's a transition, something that happens in between there. It could be some kind of movement of some kind, depending on what you pick. And then from slide two to slide three, that would be a transition. Now, the animations happen on the individual slide here. So let's go through and, and let's figure out how some of these work. So I'm going to click on animation, or excuse me, I'm going to tap on number one. I'm going to click on transition. Now it's going to bring up a box. I'm not going to go over everything that's here, but let's just say because a lot of you have liked the confetti, let's click on confetti and put a check mark. Now we do have a button next to it at the bottom. It's called options. Let's go with the gravity option. And what that means is when everything breaks apart into a bunch of confetti, it falls to the ground like gravity would push it to the ground. And because it's kind of a neat effect, let's go with three seconds. So kind of a, sh uh, a three second fall to the ground, short, but also at the same time, it gives you time to sort of enjoy it. And it's only three seconds. And we can click this button at the top next to transitions. It says play, and it's going to demo what it would look like at the end and you'll see how those are falling to the ground and it goes to your next slide all right so we we will go we like what we see and we can just tap on tap or somewhere on the screen and you'll see confetti shows up for that transition now i want to make a transition between slide two and three so i can click this plus button here transition and we'll see i'll click to, at the bottom where it says effects and this one let's say i, I might want to do a different transition a lot of times, though, in something that is professionally done or whatnot, you tend to keep the same transition as you go. But again, since we're just having fun with these, let's just do cubed. And we can press play and see what that looks like. You notice that spins like a cube would right to the next slide. All right. And again, options we can click on at the bottom next to effects. And if we click on options, You'll see it gives us a minute and a half, I mean a second and a half. Let's click it, just make two, two second transition. And this little circle right here, if I move it, that tells me, you know, which way the cube would move. Well, let's just keep it going the same direction we saw. But you can customize that. Okay, and then also, one very important thing to remember, when you add a transition to that slide, it happens at the end of the slide. All right, it's at the end. Now, there are some things you can do to change that up, but we're going to just remember that when we select this transition, when we're done looking at the very top number one slide, it's going to happen, the transition, after we're done looking at that slide. After we're finished with number two and we've read everything, it's going to go to the cube, and it's going to move over and then go to the, the final slide. Now, the next thing I want to show you, and that's basically what I'm going to show you in transitions for now, if you are looking at this slide and let's say you want to do some animations well let's notice how the top bar right now is, is blue i'm going to go ahead and click done at the very top and get back to the gray screen this is my editing screen where i can do whatever i need to do with this now i'm going to double tap on history and okay you saw it come up because i clicked out of it now you will see I'm going to click on this again, I'm going to highlight it all, and let's go with, let's see if it pops up here for me, there we go. Alright, you have to tap on it, you want to select the entire box, and then there's that animate. Okay, it might take you a minute to get through. Now, there's two sections, two options here. We have build in and build out. Real simple. Build in means how it comes into the slide, build out how it leaves, how those words leave the slide. I'm not going to worry about leaving because I have a transition in there where it's going to go to the next slide, it's going to blow up, like look like confetti falling to the ground. I don't need it, those words to go away because they're going to go away when it does the confetti. So all I want is a build in. And I'm just going to keep it simple. We'll just go, let's 
do bouncy and then I'm going to go down and do the I'm going to click on my name here and I'm going to do another build in and put bouncy as well but let's say I want those verse right now the way I have them selected the title our history would come in bouncing around and I'd have to touch the screen again for my name to pop in so instead of that doing that I'm going to go ahead and go into my bouncy my second bouncy and where it says options I am going to touch with previous build that's going to bring it in at the same time as my other okay that's all I'm gonna do with previous build all right I pressed options with previous build now let's go ahead and play see what it looks like I'm going to touch the screen and notice how both of those come in together all right real simple all right go back to editing now let's go to Thomas Jefferson now Thomas Jefferson looks like it actually has I'm gonna get rid of this effects we'll go to none for now now usually in a a presentation like this you might have things you talk about you might have a title and then three things you want to say notice how there are three things about Thomas Jefferson I want to say well, I don't want them all to come in at the same time I want them to come in at different times one and then the next and then the next so I can talk about each one as I go so let's click on the box and I'm gonna let's do a different one. let's do blinds and I can press play if I did that they'd all see how they all come in together well there's a way to make sure they come in one by one if you click the bottom where it says delivery at the bottom of that you're gonna go by bullet each one of those circles on the left side right here are bullets alright so I'm gonna go by bullet and it, if you look, it says one through three atop those numbers, or at least right above those those bullet points. And I could do some other things, but you know what? I am just going to keep it nice and simple. By bullet, I'm going to press play and watch what happens. First one, second one, and third one. So I want to do the same same thing because that's really the way I want them to look as at my presentation. Because I want them to see my title when it comes in. When the whole slide comes in, my title will be there but I want the different things I talk about separate so I can talk about them separately as I go so let's go ahead and touch the text box I'm going to click build in and then I'm going to well, let's do blasts and then remember at the bottom where it says delivery I want to click buy bullet so notice it gives me the one through four at the top and again I can press play and it'll come in the first one will be there second one and I could talk about each as I go and then I'm done now that's pretty much the basics of what I want to show you so let's go click done at the top oh, okay done now I'm going to go to slide one and at the top right corner you'll see where it says play with a square that's more rectangle but I'm going to click the play button and then now you can view it and as a slideshow and I'll present it to you as it would so I tap the screen and then I would might say to the audience our history by and then my name and then I would click it again and you'll see the transition happen and then you see the title and you will see the picture but notice there's no information there and maybe you might say to the audience today I'm going to talk about Thomas Jefferson and then I tap the screen and then I would say he was an American writer of declaration I mean, you might say the Declaration of Independence, whatever else you want to say. Touch the screen again when you're ready to talk about the next one. He was 33, year old, 33 years old when he wrote the Declaration of Independence. And then you might touch the screen again and notice then it's going to say he was a friend of Ben Franklin. Okay, and I've, I've explained to the audience everything I needed to explain. I'm going to touch the screen again and it's going to give me that cube effect. And it's going to bring up just the title because I didn't put any transition on that title. And now the audience knows I'm going to talk about Ben Franklin. And I touch the screen again, and notice it just talks about the first, or brings up the first bullet. I discuss that with the audience. I tell them all about it. And I touch the screen again, and 
here comes the politician part and I can discuss that with my audience and I can touch the screen again and then another animation you know I keep talking and touch it one more time and I know that's my fourth point to talk about and I'm ready to go and then of course as you go through then you can you know keep things going and as you go you'll notice you, everything you did now just looks like it's all part of what it's supposed to be there so hopefully you have now learned just a little bit about some transitions and how to make those work a little bit better for you hopefully that definitely gives you more confidence and will speed up your time in working with it so you don't have to spend a lot of time really fooling around with buttons and figuring out where things are and enjoy